Hey, a friend, Chris here from WideLogicProRules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro. Welcome to day 17 in our Newbie to Ninja series here on the website and channel. We're gonna help you go from being a beginner in Logic Pro to become an expert, where you're fully comfortable and capable to get right down to making awesome music in this amazing application. Over the course of this series, we've honed in on specific aspects of Logic Pro to get you up and running quickly. But I've also made it a point to expose you to other aspects of Logic Pro early on as they're incredibly important and fundamental to working on your projects. And one such set of features that we've seen again and again through this series has been take folders and quick swipe comping. Logic Pro's take management system is easy, it's intuitive and unique to Logic Pro. So today, let's go in depth on take folders and on quick swipe comping. Take folders really don't come into the picture until we record more than one overlapping performance on a track lane. So let's do that right now. I'm going to record a simple guitar riff and then record a second take so we can then really start to explore these features. Here we go. Okay, now that I've laid down my first take, let's record a second take. Here we go. Okay, we've now recorded a second take to this track. And as if by magic, a take folder has appeared housing both take one and take two. And what's so awesome about take folders is we can now listen to each take very easily just by hovering our mouse over the upper half of a region until the mouse cursor turns into this line icon. And then just by clicking on a take, we swap the focus in this case for our track from take two to take one. Let's now compare the performance of these two takes. I'll play take one right now. Okay, let me get rid of the click by pressing K on my Mac's keyboard. That saves me from having to take a trip up to the control bar every time I want to turn the metronome on and off. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about take one. Let's now take a listen to take two. Once again, by hovering our mouse in the upper half of the unselected take two, our mouse cursor turns into this line icon, and then we just click. Let's now take a listen to take two. Perfect. With the click of a mouse, we change the focus for our guitar track from take one to take two and back. Or we could hold shift and command and press the down and up arrows to switch between these takes in our take folder. Overall, I think I prefer take one over take two, but there are sections of take two that I prefer as well. At this point, if we're completely happy with our selected take and we don't need to look at all the different takes in our take folder, well, we could bring our mouse up to the upper left hand corner of our take folder region and then just click on this arrow in the upper left-hand corner. This arrow icon both closes and opens the take folder, but you could also just double click on a take folder to close it and open it. But of course, more often than not, a single recorded take most likely will not be perfect the entire way through. Instead, you may prefer certain sections from different takes that you wanna to combine together into a single composite take. And we call this process of selecting different sections from different takes comping. And that's where Logic's quick swipe comping comes in. While a take folder is open, once again, all you have to do is hover your mouse in the upper half of an unselected take. We'll get this line icon for the mouse cursor. And then you just click, hold, and then drag across the section from that unselected take that you want to include in your composite take. Right, we've now selected this portion of take two. And our comp is now made up of the first section of take one the second section of take two, and the remainder of the comp is the rest of take one. And there's no limit to the amount of sections that you can select from different takes to comp together. Additionally, we can move a selection that we've made by hovering our mouse until we see this double arrow icon. If we click, hold, and drag, we then move that selection of the comp elsewhere across the take. You can adjust where a selection starts and stops within a comp by hovering your mouse 
in the upper half boundary of that selection until the mouse cursor turns into this icon of a line with arrows, we can adjust both the left and right boundaries of any selection. We can move selections from one take to another by once again clicking in the upper half of an unselected take. And we can merge selections together by click, hold, and dragging a boundary until we drag over the boundary of another selection. Let's put all of this to use right now. I'm going to select the boundaries from these selections on take one to combine all these selections together. And let's take a listen to take one to determine which sections of take two we would prefer. Here we go. Okay, I can tell you right now that I think I prefer the octaves at the end of take two because I think I perform them a little cleaner. Take a listen. There we go. And I want to take a listen to this midsection right here. So let's click and drag with our mouse over this section. Take a listen. Okay, and I'm even curious about this section right here. See how easy it is to start comping together your perfect take and performance? Now, right about here, I'm noticing a little bit of fret noise. Let's take a listen. Right there, we have that ugly noise. So if we swipe across take one, right there. Let's take a listen again. All right, it doesn't get any better on take one. So what I like to do is remove this section completely from our composite take. To do that, we're gonna hover our mouse over that section, hold shift and click. We've now removed that section. If we adjust this boundary, take a listen. If I move the playhead a little further back. And as you can see, Logic Pro by default creates a fade in and a fade out and crossfade, ensuring that our edits and our transitions are clean and free of pops and clicks. Also, if we hold shift, hover our mouse over a boundary of a selection and drag, we can also eliminate that portion of a take from our comp. Harkening back to the video about snap and drag features when working with regions, if we go up to the snap drop down, we can also have our quick swipe comping edits snap to the grid. So if we select this, and maybe I'll set from smart to that of beat, let's adjust this boundary. Look at that. Go back up, go to division. and we can see some snapping action there. Right, there's so much action going on in our take folder, and all we have to do is just click and swipe across the sections that we want. We don't have to add fades, we don't have to chop up regions and move them around. The take folder and quick swipe comping system in Logic Pro is truly a beautiful thing. Bringing our attention back to the header of the take folder, we have these two other icons. The first is a letter, in this case it's the letter A, and when we click on this letter, we get many options to also flip between any composite takes that we've created, or flip between the two different takes. Let's switch the selection from comp A that we've comped together to that of take one. Look at that. Click again, go back to comp A, and there's our composite take. I'm feeling really good about this comp, but maybe I'm working with a collaborator who would like to try some other bits from different takes. Well, just to be safe, let's go back to the A, click, and let's duplicate the comp now allowing us to make other selections for a different composite take. And if we go back up to the letter, which now is a B, click, and then we can flip between comp A and comp B. 
But for as awesome as quick swipe comping is, sometimes you do need to edit specific sections of a take within a take folder and move them around. That's where the third icon comes in, which allows you to switch the view from that of quick swipe comping to that of editing. For example, let's take a quick listen to the first section of this recording. Now, perhaps I prefer the first set of chords for take one as opposed to the second set right here. Well, what we could do is, is we could hover our mouse till we see our marquee tool because we have the marquee tool click zone enabled. I can make a selection within take one. And then with the pointer, I can click on that selection to separate that portion of take one from the rest and then hold option, click and drag to copy and paste this first section to the second time those chords come around. And I'm gonna zoom in. And from here, I wanna shift click on this section right here, but we have to go back to the scissor icon, swap back to quick swipe comping, zoom in, and then shift and click with this double arrow icon to remove that section. And let's hear it now. Great, I'm gonna clean up this part right here as well. Shift and hold to remove that bit of noise. So changing this back to the editing icon, we can use our pointer tool to make selections within our take folder. We can also adjust the boundaries of any individual regions and selections within a take folder. And as you saw, we can split regions up and move them around as we see fit. And we can even go as far as deleting takes and sections of takes just by making a selection and then press delete on our Mac's keyboard. Look at that, we've just removed that section and I can hold option, click and drag to move this part of take one down here or just move that region without copying and pasting. I'll use command Z to undo these steps. Personally, I prefer to not have to go to this button each and every time I wanna make an edit or if I wanna quick swipe comp. So instead, if we go up to Logic Pro, go down to settings, to the general settings and click, as I mentioned in our click zone video, we're gonna go right down here to pointer tool and tracks provides and enable the option for quick swipe and take editing click zones. Now that button to flip between quick swipe comping and take editing has disappeared. Instead, all we have to do is hover our mouse over specific sections to flip between three different click zone tools. Hovering our mouse in the upper third of our take regions, we get our pointer tool so we can make selections. In the second third, in the middle of a take region, we get the marquee tool so we can make selections and be able to edit. And then in the bottom third of a take region, we get our quick swipe comping tool, which allows us to make selections, edit the boundaries of those selections, just as we would have before. But just remember, quick swipe comping now occurs in the bottom third of a take region, not the upper half. Honestly, from here, if you're happy with your composite take, if you're happy with a single take for your project, you can just close the take folder and not do anything more with it because take folders are just as adaptable as other regions in your projects. For example, we could separate half this take folder using our marquee tool and double clicking. We can adjust the boundaries of a take folder just by clicking and dragging. We can move a take folder either further down a track lane or to a brand new track of its own. But of course, there are other options if you need them. Once again, going to that letter or number icon right in the upper left-hand corner of your take folder. Besides duplicating a comp, you can also rename one of your comps if comp A and comp B are not descriptive enough. So we can set comp B to that of friend's preference. We can then delete that comp if we no longer need it. So now if we expand, we only have comp A because I deleted comp B. We can flatten the comp, which removes all the other takes and all we keep are the selected sections of our comp and we get crossfades and fades for all our regions. We can flatten and merge the comp, which will not only get rid of the unselected takes, but will merge the selected takes together into a single region. We can export the active comp to a new track. So those selections that we made, have now been exported to a new track, but we still have our take folder if we need it. We can unpack all comps and takes to independent tracks. 
So it's just like exporting just the comp, but we export the comp and the individual takes. We can once again unpack to independent tracks, but all the takes that we didn't choose to use will be muted. Or we can unpack to individual tracks, but each of these tracks will share the same channel strip in the mixer. Right, so we have old school punk one, two, and three, which are tracks four, five, and six. But if we look in the mixer, we only have one channel strip for all three of these tracks. It can be confusing when tracks start sharing channel strips in the mixer. Honestly, I don't use this feature and I don't really recommend it either. Or we can unpack each of these takes to their own track alternatives on the same track lane. And then we can flip between these different track alternatives very easily. As we've explored in previous videos, you can set software instrument tracks to record two take folders as well. We often have gone up to the record button or gone to Logic Pro to the recording settings. But you can also just go up to record and go down to overlapping MIDI regions. And you can set for each when the cycle range is off and on to create a take folder for your MIDI performances. If we select the software instrument based track and bring up the musical typing, Let's play along with some of this recording. Right, I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'm just playing A with the musical typing. Let's use Command K to remove the musical typing. And we have a take folder for our software instrument. But in the case with MIDI performances, we can only select one take or the other. And we unfortunately can't quick swipe comp across MIDI regions. So something to keep in mind, take folders are awesome. And the sooner that you get started with them, the faster your workflow is gonna be. Tomorrow, we'll start to dig into track alternatives in Logic Pro, which is another style of managing takes and performances and ideas. Thanks so much. And I'll see you for more tomorrow in our series. Take care.